Alright then, let's get started. Woo! Hey everybody, it's Grace, and it's been quite a long while since I've seen you all. And I, as you can probably tell, am extremely sick. Well, I'm feeling a lot better today. Yesterday was pretty darn rough. But, I'm here to show you all what I got on Black Friday. Now I know it's a little bit late, just, just a little bit, but I've been busy with school stuff, you know, applications, schoolwork, regular schoolwork, um, clubs, and just a whole bunch of crazy hectic stuff. But I am back, and I am so excited to be back in front of this camera. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the mall I go to that's near me is not very big, and it doesn't have a huge selection. But, if you go during the holidays, the big sales happen, and it's alright. You can make do with what you have. So, the first thing I got was a pair of Nike shoes. Now, you all probably know I love my Fila's to death. I love my Fila disruptors, and honestly, they're getting kind of old because I bought them used, so they were already a little bit beat up. But you know, I wear them. I wore them every day to school, and wearing them to school is <laughs> bound to get them a little bit dirty. You know, worn out like crazy. People step on your shoes. It's pretty, pretty bad. I wore them on vacations, I wore them to my college tours, so you know, they've gotten a lot of wear out of them, and I love them to pieces. So I figured it was time to get a new pair of shoes. So I got a pair of Nikes. These were on sale for $55. So I bought the Nike Tangents, I think that's how you say it, Tangents. But they look like this. So, you know, the classic Nike shoe. Um, nothing too fancy. It's not like Air Maxes or Pros or Air Forces. But these are super nice to wear with, you know, my casual jeans and t-shirt. And I can always run errands in these. They're super, super convenient and practical. So that's what I like about them. They're also super comfortable. So. The bottom is squishy, and it's not completely memory foam, but you can definitely feel the squish when you're walking in them. I walked around the store for, I think, a good 15 minutes in these just to make sure I really like them before I got them, but yeah, I'm super excited and <laughs> I will definitely be wearing these all the time, so A plus purchase. Now the next place I went was... H&M. Now, H&M didn't really have that big of a sale, but it's okay because I had one of those coupons that you got when you donated clothes or like used fabrics there, and you get 15% off your purchase. So I got 15% off my single item that I got. And for me, this was kind of on the pricey side. But I really, really liked it, and I even asked my mom, like, Mom, what do you think? Is it worth it? Do you, is it worth it for me to buy this skirt? And she was like, it looks great on you, and I'll even pay $5 of it. So my mom paid for $5, so that means the $15 skirt, I only paid 10 So thank you, Mom. I know you're watching this. But it's the most adorable. Oh, I didn't even button all the buttons up. This adorable, like, plaid skirt, it's just black and white, but it has these tortoiseshell buttons, which just go all the way down the front. So it's really, actually really comfy. It's a little bit constricting, but I think that's like the style, and it's not the wrong size because the waist is right, but you'll see it in the try-on clip I have, which you're probably watching right now thanks to Editing Grace, but I am super excited with this skirt and it really gives me Cher from Clueless vibes. And honestly, Cher is kind of my new style. Like I love Cher style so much. Fashion articles are like, wow, what a great style icon. I'm like, yes she is. And then I went to Forever 21. 
notorious for their wacky clothing items, but I don't get the wacky ones, just the good ones. And this time, I didn't even get proper clothing items. Well, I mean, they are clothing items, but not like shirts or pants or anything you'd normally get. No, I got socks. Oops, the receipt fell. I got socks, which made me very excited because I love pattern socks. You guys may or may not know this, but I just have some, it's something about them that I really, really love. And I feel like it's a form of self-expression. So, you know, some people love to wear makeup, some people love to do their hair differently, dye their hair. I'm like, give me pattern socks. I'm plain everywhere else, but give me the pattern socks. So, right now, I'm wearing blue socks with daisies on them. So like, you know, cute and adorable. And my feet were cold, so I decided to wear some socks. But I got these spaceship ones. So they're just gray with pink stars and blue spaceships. I got these ones, which at first I was really hesitant to get, but then I was like, these are adorable and I cannot not get these. And they are one of those like Japanese prints that are strawberry milk. So like the milk carton, but strawberry flavor. So you know how in elementary school, in America at least, we have those true strawberry milks? Yeah, but this is the Japanese version and it tastes so much better. I actually would drink it as opposed to American cafeteria milk. No thank you. And embracing the Asian in me again, I got these Chinese takeout carton things. They're gray, they have the chopsticks sticking out of them, and I think that's one of those pagodas with flowers, because I don't think it's a Chinese character. But very adorable. I also got these dog ones. It's like a hunter green background, and it's a corgi cooking an egg. So he has the frying pan in one hand and the spatula in the other. It's adorable. I just couldn't not get them. And then I got taco socks with mustaches. Like, what better socks can you get? Honestly, like show off these socks. Tacos with mustaches, oh yes catch me wearing these out in public all the time. Now, I forgot I had more that I had already put away, but I have the, I think it's a Shiba Inu dog, and this is more of a fern green, so less of a hunter green and more of a more yellow green. And it's a Shiba Inu on top of a bone, and it's adorable and I don't know, I'm actually a cat person in person. Like, I don't not like dogs, but I just really love cats since I grew up with one. But the dog socks are too cute to not get. And then I got panda socks holding a piece of bamboo. So, obviously you can tell I love pattern socks. That's not even all of them. I got more from another store. You'll see those in a minute. Here I got these earrings, they climb up your ear, except it's not like multiple studs. There's only one stud which goes like in the piercing, and then there's a loop that goes around the top. So it's pretty spunky, kind of cool. Honestly, I don't know when I'm going to wear these since I'm not normally this spunky, but you best believe I will be wearing them with some outfit sometime. Or maybe when I just decide. I'm gonna be spunky today. And the last thing I got from Forever 21 is actually this bralette I'm wearing right now. It's white and it's lace and it's so freaking adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Obviously I'm not gonna take off my shirt to show you guys, so insert a picture here. You get to see it. And all the things at Forever 21 were extra 50% off sale, so I was honestly thriving. And the last place I went was Aeropostale. 
Now these were buy one, get two free, so I'm just like, oh yes, I'm about to get these. And they come in packs of three. So they have two pattern ones and a plain one. So these ones are avocados with hearts on a yellow background. And then on the other side there are cactuses wearing a sombrero and the flowers on the cactuses look like maracas so it's like oh yeah oh yeah cactus time and then in the middle they just have a pair of plain gray ones on the other one there are flower shaped eggs so some of them have double yolk some of them have one yolk it's adorable and it's on this lavender background so cute and then i got bacon socks Bacon socks on a sky blue, teal-ish background. Yes. What, what can you get more than bacon socks? Honestly? Oh yeah. And now this pattern I was a little bit disappointed in, but I really like the one on the other side. So I was like, it's okay, I can deal with it. But this one's just black with these sort of purpley polka dots that are like sparkly. So I don't know, they could be stars if you really wanted them to, but they're really just small polka dots. There's the regular grey one in the middle, and then this is the one I really went for. It's a sloth roasting a marshmallow over a campfire. If that is not one of the cutest pair of socks you've ever seen, I really don't know what is. You're not living. So. These are the three packs of socks. See, I told you guys I was a huge fan of socks. I think it's an actual problem. And I think my proudest purchase from Aeropostal, which is actually my only other purchase, is this pair of mom jeans. Like, I think yes. You can't even see the bottoms. There you go. I can look at you from between the legs. Ooh. So they have the most adorable rips on the knees and just a small rip right here if i can point to it there we go and here so they're just the most comfortable pair of mom jeans and the best part they were only ten dollars so these are my size but there's not much else i can say about it they're really comfortable like they almost feel like they've already been worn in but they're not so that's a good pair of jeans and they're 100% cotton, so that means they won't stretch out and they won't be, you know, like spandexy. So the point is they hold their shape and they don't stretch into something that doesn't fit me later on. But of all the things that I got on Black Friday, I have to say the one I am most excited about is my new phone. My dad was lovely enough to get me a new phone. So I got the new iPhone 11 in yellow. You can't really tell because the case is black. He got me the case too. So I don't know. I've had my iPhone SE for literally three years now. So you know the battery life was getting a little bit bad. It was getting to be unresponsive. So it was honestly time to get a new one. But my dad was gracious enough to get me an iPhone 11 and this case is so cool like it's technically supposed to be a stand when you pop it out so like you can rest it on a table like that and watch it or you know like that if you really wanted to oops I can't hold it there we go so horizontally too but for me since my iPhone SE was like teeny I can't reach across the screen so when I'm, you know, walking down the hallway, I can't hold it and type at the same time. So now I use this sort of like a pop socket. So one of those, like, you know, the rings on the back that you can hold your phone in. Yeah, no, that's what I use this kickstand for the most. So now I can hold it like this, hold it up, and when I need to pick it up quickly, kickstand ready. I love my phone so much, and thank you, Dad, so much. I can't thank you enough for buying me a new phone. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back behind the camera. Really, the school year is so busy. Junior year has got me going whack. It's so, so busy. So much stuff to do all the time. But I drew my very best to sit down in front of this camera and film a video. 
it brings me joy and I hope it brings you guys joy to watch it too. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Leave a like so I know if you like these kind of videos and comment down below, I don't know, what you got on Black Friday because I would love to know. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you all next time. Bye!